Sushma, thank you so much for joining us on CNBC TV 18. Let us now connect with Anjan Chatterjee, CMD of Specialty Restaurants. Anjan, hi, happy festivities to you too. And how would you look at the growth of the Indian Mithai market? And within that, how would you see the health market category opening up? See, as you know that um, uh, this business of Mithai is uh, something which is never, in spite of the millennials, not participating fully into it, uh, it will continue to be there. It's a bottomless pit. So the fact that the sanskar, the kind of you know ethos that you have with Mithai, the puja, uh, the kind of culture which we have, Hindu or Indian culture, sorry, it's a wrong word of being Hindu, Indian culture, even in any other culture, uh, it continues to be an important part of the whole religious area. Besides that, people actually are shocking of Mithai. People continue to, you know, in spite of the fact that diet Mithai, sugar-free, X, Y, Z, it is a consumption pattern which has not gone down. Year on year, for example, we've grown 14%. So 14% growth has come in year on year. So that's double digits. Some people may be doing more. Uh, so in, in our case, I, we have seen that people are preferring this to be they want this to be kept. The shelf life should be increased. So we are working very, very closely with microbiologists and people who can guide us in terms of, you know, food technologists who can guide us that how our sweets can be kept in the shelf for a longer period of time. So that's the biggest challenge. But I don't see any reason that Mithai is something which is going to overnight be replaced by uh, anything else that includes chocolates, in spite of the biggies also trying to say that kuch bita ho jai. Fantastic, great job. You've shifted people, adults, from chocolate, uh, from uh, children eating from there to adults eating. But Mithai is a rock solid business, and uh, we had not taken it earlier uh, very, very seriously. Now it's a vertical, it's in Bombay, Pune, we're doing Bangalore and Hyderabad, and then we are also doing Delhi for that matter, because we know that Bengali streets are benchmark. And, and, and in that benchmark, we want to be the best in class and there's no organized player which is in this area and we want to expand this. Mm. And then I hear you, but we also are seeing a trend of fusion in Bengali sweets itself. There's big dress gullas and a gulab jamun cake. And are you also innovating? Are you also in moving in that direction? We, all, we already got baked rasgulla. In fact, we are the first ones to get into an area of baked rasgulla. See, it's an old wine and new bottle. So the fact that people who are contemporary, who want, and there's a lot of combination of bakery uh, and sweets, Bengali sweets and bakery. So we've got a new variety, new section altogether, which is talking uh, to a new generation. More of the chocolates being added and their ganache, and there's one bakery, uh, one of the experts has been taken in to do that combination and uh, a very intelligent fusion, not confusion. We want to do an intelligent fusion so that you don't alienate the basic taste, the, the honesty of the Bengali sweet, but still you have some value addition coming in which makes it modern in terms of perception. <laughs> I like that. No confusion, only in good infusion. Uh, and then also the tagline that grown-ups and millennials are using today is that the sweets should be delicious but also nutritious and low sugar. Will you say there's a lot of global influence as well coming into the Indian markets? Oh, absolutely, yes. Tremendous. See, these are the this is the Insta world. <laughs> there's nothing which is hidden. Every day, you know, you're getting something or the other. There's a feed coming in and there's a um, you know, tremendous change in, it's more, more dynamic, people are getting more adventurous, the palettes are getting adventurous, and there are boutique Mithai shops, not here, abroad also. So everything put together, but I can say this to you, that this is a very good trend, because food itself has become more virtual in terms of influencing. So all the influences have uh, become the most important people. So this digital medium which has come in, it's all visual and people are getting more and more exciting, uh, excited. So it becomes, our life becomes easier that we can show more and sometimes say less so that the, you know, impulse becomes better. <laughs> yes. Uh, another thing is millets and that seems to be making inroads into all food categories, including Mithai. So you have ragi and juar and baja. Those are the new ingredients that people are working with now. What's your sense on this one? We have already come out with Ragi, Jawar, both of them, this, you know, this Kanpati we are doing, uh, Modaks, 
with the uh, millets and uh, in a very big way because you know it's it's been started with, by, by my son avik and he's the one who works very very closely with me and fortunately is half my age so he continues to you know get into innovation so we've already come up with good the real good the humble good and also the a2 a1 you know ghee gai ki jo ghee ko use karna and not using inorganic colors so it's completely out it used to be there and now we are absolutely organic in terms of the source that includes the beetroot juice to get the redness so all these have been done with the food technology all right beetroot juice to ghee cows the ghee there's so much happening in mithai is really anjan but what's your vision going forward for the indian mithai market how would you picture this segment let's say in the next 5 or 10 years i don't see that uh, you know uh, it going down or going uh, reversing at any given point of time so it's not just mithai the snacks i was just telling uh, this to a friend on another forum that the the every region is a country in india so every region somewhere pinni somewhere you have doda somewhere you have bengali kheer kadam then you have a rasgulla all these come together so we are also working towards modernizing them with a doda sandesh for example so there are so i don't see any reason the so most the biggest challenge would be to make it relevant to the millennials going forward agar aaj 25 saal tak ye industry chalegi to humko ye dekhna padega ki we'll uh, get these people also motivated and where we can have you know monk sugar that we are using there are a lot of other innovations we are doing to uh, combination of dark chocolates in the ganache so isko humko yahi bada challenge hoga agar aap 5 10 20 saal ki baat kar rahi hain ki it will have to be a com- combination of things which become relevant to the youngsters the millennials when they grow Oh well, absolutely, Anjan. This market is absolutely not going anywhere. With the kind of way that we eat traditional fruit, uh, traditional sweets, and of course, uh, the fusion sweets as well, which have been incoming. So it's a big sweet and see seventy percent of volumes, and of course, it's a double-digit growth percentage industry on an year-on-year basis as well. So that is something to watch out for.